So far, we've been focusing on assets. Now I'd like to turn your attention to another important aspect of Maximo, which are called locations. So locations are like assets, but typically they're not serialized. So let's just go to locations, and let's just look at locations, and we'll pull up all locations that have a BR in them, maybe a boiler room. So these are all those locations. Now, um, think of locations uh, as operating positions. So, for example, I may have a, uh, if I maybe have a, a ma car manufacturer, may have a place where they have paint robots. Uh, the location in the building, the column number, the plant floor where that, a that actual robot sits is the location where assets are held. So I can have multiple, many, many assets in a given location, or there can be a one-to-one -one relationship. For every one location, there's one asset. Assets don't have to have locations, and locations don't have to have assets. Okay, but both are uh, hierarchical, so they both can have parents and they both can have children. So one of the ways to look at this, if I look at, I can open up a drill down, and this will show you kind of that relationship. So at the very top level, I might have a site called Needham. I go into that site, I go into the boiler room. That boiler room goes down into other parts of it. So it goes down into the HVAC piece, which goes down into the, you know three circulating fans. So these are a nesting of locations. So you might think about this, um, if you think about your own home, for example, you have a, a location where your lot is, then you have the location where your house is on the lot, and then you might break your house down if you have like a basement, a main level, and an upper level, those could be three other locations. On the main level, breaks down into the kitchen, the master bedroom, the master bath. Those would be locations, and then assets would sit in there. That's a very simple way of thinking about locations, but I think an effective one to get your mind around as a beginner. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this. And let's take a look at a location record. Again, navigates very much the same. So when I hit... Uh, at this location, I want to see what assets are there. This would show me I have two assets. I've got a circulating fan and an HVAC system uh, in that location. This is the history. So if I had assets that have moved in and moved out of the site, I uh, can see it here. I have a, a safety tab. So if there's uh, if this location by its very nature uh, is a uh, creates a, a safety issue then any work orders that are created inherit the safety aspects and the safety requirements of this location. Uh, same thing with assets. Uh, meters, just as I talked about before, specifications, those classifications so I can classify uh, locations, I can do that all right here. We won't go into some of the uh, more detailed pieces, which is the ability to map this out and interface this with either your, um, your, your GIS system like your Esri, ArcGIS, or Google Maps or Bing Maps, but that's all part of the system as well. All right. Let's go back to the Start Center, and we'll go into uh, Work Orders next. So to go into Work Orders, I can just simply navigate to Work Orders here, go to Work Order Tracking, and maybe I want to see all work orders that were cut against a particular asset. I'd pull that up here, and I'd be able to click on a work order, and that pulls up the work order. So when I, even though I pulled up the work order for this asset, I got the location the asset's in. I got what kind of work it is, so I can typify the work. It could be calibration work. It could be corrective maintenance. It could be a capital project, emergency work, an inspection. So you typify these, and then that can establish where you route the work order, who gets the assignment, that sort of thing. Okay. This is the status. So if I go to, of the work order, this one's approved. If I had the authorization to, I can cancel the work order, close the work order, complete it, defer it. Uh, and all of these statuses are user-defined. Your company will establish what these different uh, 